So Swami, would you like to go and see the other parts of uh, this uh, setting? No, the purpose is served. Seeing at this place, <coughs> sitting at this place, seeing these locations here, seeing a few, of course, what it was like having an aerial view, and then sitting here focusing upon this energy. We have got the spirit of it. Now if we go and see, it is like the same thing has been represented here, which is there in many other places which we get to see. So it will be more like reading more books hmm. about the same thing. All right. The significant ones are spread. I was wondering <coughs> about Genius Choice Institute developing and evolving like Nalanda. The Nalanda University. Nalanda was required at that time and it was established and well known because the world required it at that point of time. Mm. It existed very much. It paved the path for many to develop, to evolve, to enlighten. When it was not required, it was demolished. It still exists for the people to rediscover and recreate and recreate and to so if the world requires something of course it just it will naturally get established get developed get demolished, get rediscovered and recreated. And the cycle will continue. The cycle Is it will so? Continue. Yes. The evidence that uh, uh, just being exposed to this place eh, hmm. doesn't work at all. Hmm. Is that the people who work here, you know, the caretakers, eh, hmm. those who sit here, hmm. Throughout the day and perhaps in the night. Mm. They don't uh, develop anything, you see. So it depends upon the way your intellect engine works on the data being selected, being chosen. Do you understand? Yes. Evidence that uh, being uh, uh, staying in the Himalayas and the caves and all those unique places do not work is the same way the people who live there people who do various businesses and trade there they don't develop anything but the one who goes there or some people who go there also may get triggered this I say to indicate the role of the critical turning point role of intellect engines in accessing, in uh, realizing, in identifying what you want to identify and access. Okay? Mm. See, this was a hostel, a so-called hostel where the students, the, the Vidyarthis were staying. So practically this was kind of a university only. Mm. Whoever destroyed it, they thought that by destroying this design of structures, mm. they would destroy. It's great helping. They would destroy the, the perceptions and discoveries and perspectives behind it. Of course, they could not. They cannot. Nobody can. It has become. If I want to simply get that to show the people, eh? mm -hmm. I can do many things. Mm including this one, at this April 3rd hot sun, around at, a, one. at around 1 o'clock, I can just like that, look at the sun, with open eyes, and stay like this for any, any amount of time, see, without any problem. <laughs>
Take that dog in the Nalanda monastery. Dog is a wonderful animal. It has had the daring to create friendship with the human entities. So, Shivami, <coughs> Shivami, what did you see in the Mahavir temple? There is a peed hmm. A peed and a lamp, arti lamp. Okay. This is the time, space, location where the great genius Mahavir attained his tower of enlightenment. See how this place is maintained. So every unique place, it's a unique place, it's a unique place. So it indicates, it talks to you that you have to identify the uniqueness of or the unique space setting of your own mind setting. Unique setting or the unique components of your entity are placed within the vast, ever-flowing, massive, varied, differential contents of concepts, ideas, perspectives, experiences and feelings. This is the second day of the journey of our perceptions through the Buddha trail and this is Shivamayi and uh, Balram Pandey, Balram Ji, he is our wonderful driver driving his in our car as a, in a most beautiful way, and he knew all the places. Prasanji, thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Shivami, <laughs> thanks. Thanks to, say thanks to him. Thank you, Prasanji, Bye.